Imagine a world where up is down and left is right. Picture a reality where everything you know is reversed. This isn't science fiction. This is the realm of antimatter, a concept so bizarre, so potentially destructive, that it has captivated scientists and fueled science fiction for decades. Antimatter is the mirror image of our everyday world, composed of particles that are the exact opposites of the ones we know. But this mirror has a terrifying secret. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other in a burst of pure energy. This begs a chilling question. If the universe was born with equal amounts of matter and antimatter, why are we still here? To understand antimatter, we must first understand matter. Matter is all around us. It makes up the stars, the planets, and even you and me. Atoms are the building blocks of matter, with a nucleus of protons and neutrons orbited by electrons. Antimatter is identical to matter in every way but one. Its particles have the opposite charge. For example, an electron has a negative charge, but its antimatter counterpart, the positron, has a positive charge. Similarly, a proton with its positive charge has an antimatter twin called an antiproton, which carries a negative charge. Rewind the cosmic clock almost 14 billion years to the Big Bang. In that first infinitesimal moment, the universe was a cauldron of energy. As the universe expanded and cooled, this energy coalesced into matter and antimatter in equal amounts. This perfect symmetry, however, sets the stage for a cosmic mystery. If matter and antimatter annihilate each other upon contact, then the early universe should have been a battleground of creation and destruction. One would expect that all matter and antimatter would have annihilated each other, leaving behind nothing but a sea of energy. Yet here we are. This is the crux of the matter-antimatter asymmetry problem. For some unknown reason, there was a slight excess of matter over antimatter in the early universe. For every billion particles of antimatter, there were a billion and one particles of matter. This tiny imbalance, this cosmic quirk, had profound consequences. As the universe continued to cool, matter and antimatter annihilated each other. However, that slight surplus of matter meant that some of it survived the annihilation frenzy. This surviving matter forms the stars, galaxies, planets, and ultimately us. Section 5. Creating Antimatter, a tiny Big Bang on Earth. Recreating the conditions of the Big Bang may seem like science fiction, but scientists have done just that, albeit on a much smaller scale. In laboratories around the world, researchers are pushing the boundaries of our understanding by simulating these early universe conditions. Particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider, are colossal machines that smash subatomic particles together at incredible speeds. These machines are marvels of modern engineering, stretching for miles and requiring international collaboration. These collisions generate such immense energies that they briefly recreate the conditions that existed fractions of a second after the Big Bang. The energy levels achieved are so high that they allow scientists to study phenomena that would otherwise be impossible to observe. In these miniature Big Bangs, scientists can produce tiny amounts of antimatter. This antimatter is crucial for understanding the fundamental symmetries of the universe and could potentially revolutionize our approach to energy and propulsion. However, creating and containing antimatter is a monumental challenge. The process requires not only advanced technology, but also a deep understanding of particle physics. Antimatter annihilates upon contact with regular matter, so scientists must use sophisticated magnetic traps to contain it and prevent it from coming into contact with the container walls. These traps are essential for safely studying antimatter and unlocking its potential applications. Section 6. Antimatter in Action, From Medicine to the Stars While antimatter may seem like the stuff of science fiction, it already has practical applications in our world today. One of the most well-known uses of antimatter is in positron emission tomography, or PET scans, a crucial tool in modern medicine. PET scans utilize radioactive isotopes that emit positrons, which are the antimatter counterparts of electrons. When these positrons encounter electrons in the body, they annihilate each other, producing gamma rays that specialized detectors can pick up. This process allows doctors to create highly detailed images of organs and tissues, which is invaluable for diagnosing and monitoring a variety of medical conditions, from cancer to heart disease. 
Beyond the realm of medicine, antimatter holds the potential for revolutionary advancements in space travel, a field that constantly pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. The annihilation of matter and antimatter releases an immense amount of energy, far greater than any chemical reaction known to us. This makes antimatter an incredibly efficient fuel source, potentially allowing us to travel vast distances across the cosmos, reaching destinations that are currently beyond our grasp with conventional technology. Section 7. The Hunt for Cosmic Antimatter. Echoes of a Lost Universe. The mystery of the missing antimatter continues to intrigue scientists. Despite decades of research, the question remains, where did all the antimatter go? If the Big Bang produced equal amounts of matter and antimatter, could there be pockets of antimatter hidden somewhere in the universe? This tantalizing possibility drives many scientific investigations. Scientists are actively searching for signs of antimatter in space using a variety of methods. These methods range from deploying advanced telescopes to sending probes into the far reaches of space. One approach is to look for the unique signatures of antimatter annihilation events. When matter and antimatter collide, they annihilate each other, releasing a burst of energy. When matter and antimatter annihilate, they produce gamma rays with specific energies. These gamma rays are like fingerprints, unique and identifiable. Detecting these gamma rays could point to the presence of antimatter, Instruments in space are constantly on the lookout for these telltale signs. Another method is to search for antimatter particles directly. Particle colliders on Earth recreate conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles from space, constantly bombard Earth. These rays provide another avenue for detecting antimatter. Scientists are analyzing these cosmic rays, hoping to find traces of antimatter particles among them. Each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the universe's greatest mysteries. Section 8. Antimatter. A key to unlocking the universe's secrets. The study of antimatter is more than just a scientific curiosity. It has the potential to unravel some of the biggest mysteries in physics and cosmology. Understanding why there is more matter than antimatter could shed light on the fundamental laws that govern our universe. It might even lead to new physics beyond our current understanding. The concept of a universe made of antimatter is a tantalizing one. Could there be a mirror universe out there composed entirely of antimatter, where everything is the opposite of what we know? While this may seem like pure speculation, the possibility, however remote, is a testament to the awe-inspiring nature of the cosmos. Section 9. Beyond the Horizon the future of antimatter. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of antimatter, we open doors to unimaginable possibilities. Imagine a future where antimatter-powered spacecraft allow us to explore the stars, where antimatter becomes a viable energy source, and where our understanding of the universe takes another giant leap forward. The study of antimatter is a journey into the heart of reality a quest to understand the fundamental building blocks of our universe and the forces that govern them. It is a journey driven by curiosity, fueled by imagination, and ultimately bound to reshape our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. 